Hello, this is percentage lesson 1.6. In this, I will discuss how to calculate percentage more or less in a faster way. Now, percentage more simply means more is what percentage of base. That is, we need to calculate more upon base that is B into 100. For example, 100 is what percent more than 80. Now, first of all, we need to calculate 100 is how much more than 80. 100 is 20 more than 80. So, 20 upon base. Base is the number from which we are calculating. We are calculating R number is 100. 100 is R number. This is 100. This is what percent more than the 80. Now we are comparing R number with the 80. So base will be 80. So 20 by 80 into 100. That is 1 by 4 into 100. 25%. Now as in case of percentage increase or decrease. You can take the ratio rather than calculating 100 is what percent more than 80. If the numbers are simple, I can simply calculate 20, 5 is 100, 24 is 80. I can calculate 5 is how much percent more than 4. It's same thing. I have just taken the ratio 100 is to 80. What is the ratio? 5 is to 4. So rather than calculating 100 to 80, I can easily calculate 5 is what percentage more than 4 and simply percentage more is more 5 is 1 more than the 4 so 1 more than the 4 1 by 4 into 100 again answer will be 25 percent so simply uh, when the numbers are simple you can always take the ratio for example 90 is what percentage more than 60 now rather than calculating the exact value i can always calculate the ratio 33 is a 90, 32 is a 60. Now I can simply calculate 3 is what percentage more than 2. Now percentage more is more, 3 is 1 more than the 2 upon base is 2 into 100. 1 by 2 into 100 would be how much? 50%. Now if the numbers are difficult, then you can apply the basic conceptual way. For example, 93 is how much more than 80 now in this case i can't take ratio because uh, 93 is 93 and 80 there is no ratio you can calculate now what we will do we will apply the basic method now 93 is how much more than 80 93 is 13 more than 80 so what was the basic way to calculate percentage more more is what percentage of base so I simply need to calculate 13 is what percentage of base. So I need to calculate 13 is what percent of 80. 13 is what percent of 80. This is more. This is base. So more is what percent of base. That is what we need to calculate. 13 is what percent of 80. Now you can simply say that 10 percent of 80 would be how much? 8. We need to reach 13. So 4 would be by common sense 5%. 10% of 80 is 8. So half of 5, 10% that is 5% would be 4. Both sides we have to divide by 2. So now we is 12. We need 1 more. Now 1 we can't say direct. Can I say 1% would be how much? 1% of 1% of 80 would be 0.8. So 1% would be 0.8. Now how much more I need? I need to make 13. I got 12.8. I only need 0.2. Now 0.8 is 1% so of 0.2 is 1 fourth of this. This will be 0.25%. So can I say that 13 would be how much percent of 80? 10 plus 5, 15 plus 1, 16.25% of 80. So it means that 93 is 16.25% more than 80. I just calculated 13 is what percent of 80. That is more is what percent of base. So in this we will always use the when the whenever we can't take the ratio we will always use that 100%, 10% and 1% method. Now next is percentage less. Percentage less is similar to percentage more. Percentage less is less is what percent of base. That is what you need to calculate. Oh, that is you can say that less by base into 100 now for example 80 is what percent less than 
20 first of all we need to calculate 80 is how much less than 100 80 is 20 less than 100 here the base will be 100 because this is r number 80 we are comparing r number with the 100 we need to calculate r number is how much less than 100 so 100 will act as a base or simply you can uh, remember that uh, less than or more than associated with whatever number that will be considered as base here less than is associated with 100 so it means that 100 will be considered as base so rather than cramming you can simply uh, apply your common sense 80 is r number we need to compare r number with the 100 r number is how much more or less in percentage term from the number that is base 100 so 20 by 100 into 100 that would be 20 percent as the numbers are simple you can always take the ratio this is very very important whenever the numbers are simple and you want to calculate percentage increase decrease more or less you can always take the ratio once you take the ratio 80 to 100 this is 4 is to 5 you can always calculate 4 is how much percent less than 5 now 4 is 1 less than 5 so percentage less would be 1 upon 5 into 100 answer will be still same 20 percent another example 60 is how much percent less than 90 rather than calculating the actual value you can take the ratio 32 is a 60 33 is a 90 so you only need to calculate 2 is how much percent less than 3 so percentage less is less 2 is 1 less than 3 less upon base base is 3 because 2 is our number we are comparing 2 with 2 is how much less than 3 so the 3 will be considered as base so 2 is 1 less than 3 so less upon base 1 by 3 into 100 that will give you 33 1 by 3 percent now this is a scenario when the numbers are simple when the numbers are not simple uh, then you have to apply the basic method without ratio 117 is how much percent less than 180 now first calculate uh, how 117 is how much less than 180 you can see that you have to calculate this in brain without writing 117 is 63 less than 180 now I discussed just in the beginning percentage less is always equals to less is what percent of base less is what percentage of base so I simply need to calculate 63 that is less is what percentage of base that is 180 so 63 is what percentage of 180 that is the only thing I need to calculate now 180 you can see that 180 10 percent would be how much 18 180 10 percent would be 18 10 percent would be 18 now I need to reach till 63 so 18 threes are 54 tables must be strong so 30 percent of 180 would be 54 so 30 percent is 54 now I need to reach till 63 so how much more I need I need 9 more 54 plus 9 I will use 63 now now 9 would be how much percent of 180 by common sense if 10 percent is 18 half of this 5 percent would be 9 5 percent of 180 would be 9 so can I say that 35 percent of 180 would be how much 63 so 63 is 35 percent of 180 so it means that our answer is 35 percent uh, it means that you can say that 117 is 35 percent less than 180 so whenever you can't take ratio you simply need to calculate less is what percent of base in this case my number 117 was 63 less than 180 so i calculated less that is 63 is what percentage of base that is 180 so 63 is 35 percent of 180 and that will be our answer now next concept is if the question comes like this x is 20 percent more than y how you will write can i say x is 20 percent more than y it means that x is y plus 20 percent of y now either you can solve this as it is or there are two more ways to solve this and you must know both of them so one way is this y is 
everything is 100% of itself. So you can say that y is same as 100% of y. Everything is 100% of itself. Because 100% of y, if you open this, I am just opening here, y or 100% of y are same thing, I am just saying. Because 100% is what 100 by 100, how to open the percentage, divide by 100 into y. This is same 100, 200 will get cancelled out. So y is equals to y. So everything is 100% of itself. So whenever the question comes like this, this x is 20% more than y. Either you can simply solve this part as it is uh, y plus 20% of y or you can say that y is 100% of itself. So can I say this 100% of y plus 20% of y. This will become straight away 120% of y. Or you can say that if you if you divide by if you open the percentage 120 percent is what 120 by 100 that is 1.2 y 120 by 100 would be 1.2 y so either you can write it like this 1.2 y decimal part this is a decimal way of writing or you can say that y plus 20 percent is converted this is a fraction 20 percent is 20 by 100 1 by 5 1 by 5 y this will be equals to 6 by 5y. So either you can solve as it is or you can convert this into decimal or you can convert this into fraction. All three are equally important. Please don't uh, remember or understand one of them. You have to understand all three. Whenever x is 20% more than y, so this is x is y plus 20% of y. Either you can straight away solve this or you can write it as 120% of y because everything is 100% of itself so 100% of y plus 20% of y this will become 120% of y that is 1.2 y this is a decimal form or a fraction form now for example x is 20% more than 180 there are three ways either you can straight away solve that x is 20% more than 180 so the x will be 180 plus 20% of 180 straight away solve this 180 plus 20% 20 of 180 would be how much? 10% of 180 is 18. 20% of 180 would be double of 18. That is 36. So answer would be 216. This is a straight method. Or you can say that 180 plus 20% 20 of 180. Can I say that this will become 120% of 180? Because you can write this as 100% of 180. All three method you must know because in this case you think that this is simple method yes this is but in different different kind of question different different methods are important so 100% of 180 is 180 plus 20% 20 of 180 you can say this is equal to 120% of 180 now 120% you have to convert into decimal form 120% is what 120 by 100 that is 1 1.2 into 180 answer will still be 216 this is second method so this is second method is decimal form third method is fraction form 180 plus 20 percent is what that is 1 by 5 of 180 so either you can solve as it is or you can write it this is 6 by 5 of 180 so either you can this is again you can solve in two ways this is 180 plus 36 1 fifth of 180 or you can say that this is 6 by 5 times of 180 answer will still be same that is 216 in both the cases so very important three ways to solve uh, these kind of questions one is a straight way second is a decimal form and third is a fraction form all threes are equally important so that was all about this lesson in the next lesson i will continue with this percentage more and less thank you